Welcome to another The Builders Extra. Today, we're going to actually rewind really far back to episode 37 with Shuomo. Shuomo and I had a great conversation, and it was really it revolved around strategies for small businesses to win larger clients. And we had some, there were some really good points in this one. And uh, it's interesting because he comes from that world of the corporate world, larger companies and stuff. So he had a really great insights and he helps small businesses today. As far as I know, he still does that. And so it was, it was a good conversation around that. And what I wanted to extract, the extra thing I wanted to talk about today is actually something that I feel is a little uh, re related to kind of how I'm developing my business and I think how a lot of people have to develop their businesses. Some may not, though. If you have a lot of money for your business, you know, you get funding, millions of dollars, you can go after those larger businesses probably out of the gate. You build a big team, experienced people, uh, in that, whatever you're doing, and you're out of the gates, you're going after that those million dollar accounts. But the reality is, for most of us, I would have to imagine that is not the reality. <laughs> so, what do you do? How do you get there? So, I'm I'm a big believer in leverage. Right, everything that happens, you can leverage that. Like even like. A testimonial. You can leverage that testimonial to get more business. Or, you know, just as things happen. Or you, you, you get a new contract. You can leverage that to maybe add another asset or new, another resource. There, There's all these things that happen. You leverage things and slowly improve over time. And that's really how I've built the agency to where I am now and hope to continue to build the agency to where I envision it being. Now we have uh, contracts, we have clients that are multi-million dollar businesses in their own right, either e-commerce stores or whatever, you know, digital uh, companies. And so they're good contracts. But I didn't get those overnight. In the first year or two, I would get whatever I could get, right? And I didn't know what I could get. I didn't have the confidence yet to even think about going after a larger account. Especially considering that in the first year or two, it was mostly me. I had I would outsource work. I had some contractors that would help me. Uh, but I was still trying to figure all that out. I didn't have an actual team yet. But that's all changed in the last two years. Almost two years now. In that I hired my first employee. And I leveraged that situation to do uh, hire another one and get build the team even further and then forged another relationship to expand the team. All these things were happening that way. And every time I would do that, I could now leverage the idea of this team, the communicating that we have a team to get larger accounts. Because like, like we talked about in that episode, uh, if you're going to work for a large company, they want to see you have a team or know that you have a team. Right? If you're just solo, you're a freelancer, and you're not going to be able to get those large accounts. Forget like what we talked about how how understanding the structure of those companies. You're not; they're not even going to look at you, right? I'm not at that point yet, by the way. I'm not at a point where I'm going to get you know a twenty-five million dollar contract tomorrow. It could happen. I would have to do a little scrambling, <laughs> but. I'm not there, but it, I, I expect to get there. So we're at a point where we we are getting better contracts, larger clients, working with larger companies, because we keep leveraging what we already have, and that's how I know to do to build any business when i was in a contracting business in the early 2000s when i was i started out solo uh painting houses and repairing drywall <laughs> but over time over that summer i started hiring other painters and i started i hired a carpenter now we can do remodeling that all started to gel before it fell apart that's another story uh, <laughs> 
<laughs> Otherwise, I'd still be doing it today. But but that I do the same thing in, in my agency today. Is every I'm always thinking about that. I'm always looking to get better and better accounts. But I I know I'm not dumb that I'm not going to be able to go out and, and you know attract a large large company like Adidas or like <laughs> whatever <laughs> like some some large company out there. It's probably not going to happen unless they really need WordPress things and they just need a little bit. But I have to grow into that, and that's the journey we're on. And now, like this year already, I can tell because our, our team is, you know, larger and we're doing more stuff. I'm starting to attract larger accounts. We do a lot with other agencies, larger agencies. And it's a beautiful thing to witness. And I know that once I do that, once I get to that next level where I have a team, uh, as I develop the team, a lot of this has to do with the team and how that develops it's not just the match show. <laughs> it's, the, it's a team show. <laughs> so the more that develops. Also, the more projects and things you get under your belt. I had a conversation this morning uh, that basically that conversation was about us working and helping another established agency. They have a lot of, you know, like, 50 employees, they have, you know, it's incredible, right? They got a really well-established business and they came to us. Now they came to us because we have a presence online and, and um, we had a great intro chat. But during that conversation, and this all comes back to selling and stuff too, right? But during that conversation, I was able to relate to their needs by providing examples of how we're helping other agencies and how we're helping, you know, similar situations and how we can work with them to improve their situation and, and you know, help them on their path where they're going to scale things up. I was able to do that because I've got the experience and I, you know, one client at a time solving their problems solving their problems, a little bit larger of a company, a little larger of an agency in our case, you know, and you just keep going. And I I would expect in the next couple of years, maybe it takes five years, but we'll land that really large contract. And that, but the thing about that is, I would, if I would look back at today or, even, or a couple of years ago, I would have never have won it because I didn't have the experience. I didn't have the team and you know, things in place to, to even handle that. You know, I think about getting, I, I think about what if, what if we get that large contract? Well, it would have to be understood that we're going to have to build a team. <laughs> we're going to, cause we're already with the team we have pretty busy doing what we're doing. But what we have to get really good at is hiring and building teams to help, you know, each company or agency or whatever we're working with. We have a dedicated team around just them. And that's what I would end up doing. I would have to be a situation where at this point, if I was going to do that, it would have to be built in. Okay, we're going to need a, you know, couple months to onboard, get the team in place, you know, and I know that in my head. But it'd be a lot easier at some point where it's like, we got the team, you know, <laughs> or... I have somebody in charge of doing that, you know. Um, so, so yeah, and, and so that's kind of the lesson here. And uh, what I want to talk about in this extra is just, I, I really had loved that conversation because, you know, it, it really makes you think about, there's big companies out there and uh, agencies and, and or developers or whatever are helping those companies, but it's not somebody that uh, is just started out and doesn't have the experience or or anything to even lend to that situation that takes time again unless you got you know cash somebody gave you a bunch of money and you can start out by building a team otherwise if you're like me and you're bootstrapped the whole thing you got to kind of claw your way up you know all right that's it for today i hope you found that interesting insightful and hopefully motivating and inspiring too until next time take care